hello hello this is queen me tata if you're new here and it is january 26th i quit my job yesterday um i contemplated you know i made okay you will see you will see the before and this will be the after so by the time you get this part yes i quit my job um i contemplated and i'm gonna tell you how god works now friday thursday yes i was stressed out friday i made that video but i didn't tell how i really felt like i felt worthless to be honest i felt worthless at that establishment that company um i felt dumb my manager he he fussed at me so bad because I said this in in October or November, how I felt so dumb working there. He told me never to feel like that. He don't ever want to hear me say that ever again about myself. So, as I said, I'm fasting. If I didn't tell y'all, I'm fasting. And a lot of things have popped up saying that I'm my own worst enemy. So, I'm praying that off that. I can stop speaking bad stuff on me. Um, trusting God more because I wasn't gonna do this. I wasn't like I keep saying I was gonna do it, but I wasn't gonna do it. But um, Thursday till my birthday, I kept on saying, "Lord, just give me a sign." Just this man looking at me. I was like, Lord, just give me a sign. Just give me a sign. What do I do? Like, do I quit? Like, I was like, I really can't work with that man anymore. That guy of the other color race. I cannot work with him anymore, God. Please give me a sign. I can't do it. I can't look at this work no more. I be hyperventilating, like my chest, like, y'all. I had an anxiety attack in December, and I'm like, it's. I guess I had an anxiety attack, but my chest is like, my heart about to come out. Some nights I can't sleep. I have bad headaches. Um, all January, all January, I've been sick. Every day I work, I was sick. I couldn't breathe. You know, I'm thinking I got COVID and stuff, but now. I don't feel like that. But the thing that made me, I said, God, give me a sign. So, Monday on my birthday, I um, I sent my resignation letter to my friend to proofread it and all that. And then I redid my resume so I can get other jobs. So, I just, you know, I combined everything I did to at the company. And then I added the old jobs that I had back on there. So, I did all that. But it would not sing. The the resume would not go. Like, I could not uh, get connected with the wife, the internet. And it just wouldn't work. And then so I restarted the computer, rebooted. And it says that my card is blocked. I'm like, hmm. So I kept trying, kept sending this block, kept putting password in, sending this block, and I'm like, I don't know what what's going on. So I supposed to go back to work yesterday. The car is still staying the same thing. So I had it on my HP computer because I have a Mac too. So um I got my HP computer and I had to open up open up the little um, word stuff you know jibber jabber anyway I had to send my resignation i was like you know what god i guess you're telling me he kept saying just do it it was 10 some but he was like just do it just do it and then i finally just did it but my friend told me to wait two weeks because it'll make me look bad and stuff for just doing it right now but and initially, I was going to wait till April 8th to quit because I would have had got each baby birthday out the way. And something God was saying, no. So, I said, how about March 10th? 
that way it's a week before Gigi's birthday. He said, no. And then my friend said, two weeks. So that'll be February 10th in two weeks. He said, no. And my friend was like, you need to do it. But I'm like, I can't do that. Um, Something in my spirit said, don't do that. So I didn't. I see we're supposed I'm supposed to do a January twenty seventh tomorrow. But I couldn't do it. Like my eyes could not look at no more of that stuff. No more. So now I'm working on my websites. I'm gonna get a Etsy up. I'm going to do start on the baby's birthdays. And I just hope y'all stay tuned. I've slept good this week. I haven't slept good in a while. Worries and all that. Yes, I'm still worried because I have fear of what's, what's next. That's my biggest fear of everything. That's why I never wanted to do this because the fear of not the unknown. But now I'm just going to trust in God and whatever he has for me, it will be. So this is the end of it um come along on this journey no i'm I'm gonna have to find another income so that's what i've been working on so that's why i did my resume over but i don't want to be an engineer no more that is out the question i don't want to be that i just want to make it and i want to get my business off the ground i want to help others with their business my lips are so ash oh my goodness but <laughs> I might put the mask on at my office trying to pick up mail. So that's all I wanted to say. And this is going to be the end of this video. I'm sorry for the little rant on Friday. It was hard. Like, y'all just don't know. Maybe y'all know. But it's stressful. Like, I don't want to be mentally just down in my life. Feeling trapped. Even my manager, would when we had the meetings, he would say, You... It's like you're on the island by yourself. And I'm like, yes, I feel trapped. I don't know which way to go. I never felt like I belong here. I never. I didn't get, you know how people, yeah, like I always, you know how people have like their families on their cubicles and they have all their nice stuff. I never had nothing. Mine was plain Jane. I took everything with me when I was in the office before COVID before the c word so um before the pandemic i'm gonna keep it before the pandemic i had nothing on my desk and then they took my desk i've been moved around so many times in huntsville i've been in all three sites of huntsville dang horrible hold on i've been in all three sites in huntsville because they keep moving me and in 2020 when I was at when I was in maternal leave with Nehemiah they called me on my leave or talk about this and said we're taking your this way uh I don't care and so I haven't been back to no desk in two years and they keep saying they keep saying oh you gonna go back you gonna go back and no one back but hey, I have fireproof faith. If you watch Rock City devotional, I have fireproof faith that God got me through, gonna get me through this. It is a rocky road, but hey, I'm gonna get through it. But talk to you later. <laughs> my website i wanted to do things the right way because a lot of people are launching their um websites and don't have a business bank account and i've been putting it off because i i was told you supposed to get the navy federal one i got a navy federal account like i've been rushing to get that but you had to have 250 to open it and i don't have that so, you know, I should stop listening to those people. That's all I'm going to say. I listen to those people about, you got to have this, you got to have that, you got to do this, you got to do that. And that's just more money, and I don't have that money. So, 
I'm gonna make it do what it do and work with what I got so I go get back up there, you know. So that is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna try to get this website out. I gotta redo it because I don't like my website. Yeah. Definitely gonna change that. So I will be researching that and trying to get it all together. So I I put some more pictures up. I really don't like my website. I wasted my money. I really did. When that money could went to a bigger printer or went to the business, it's uh, getting the business legal or something like that. So yeah. You live and you learn. But I'm heading back home. And tomorrow I turn my laptop in. So I'll be recording that. Hopefully I can do that. And that's about it. Probably apply to some more jobs. If you know any work from home jobs, let me know. Someone called me today was like, oh, do you want to work? It's such in Coleman, and I was like, "Why are you calling me, buddy? I got, I did work from home jobs, so, so, so uh, how you feel about that? I'm not working in no Coleman. If you know, you know, and I know I ain't working in Coleman, and that's too far from my house. So you think I'm gonna drive there? And I didn't want to go down the road to work. No, I'm not gonna do that." I just want to know who, who are you? Why are you calling me? But hey, I'm looking for a work from home. This little man is really into his yard, baby. He's sweeping. That's what you call. That's my neighbor. He's sitting here walking with his, not that neighbor right there, but that neighbor on this side. He all the way down there. His butt's so bored. Mm -mm -mm. 